Bosch, you know, I started in 2007 with some students at Bard College in upstate New York, and uh, it's been a long road. I've changed a lot. I've learned a lot. The world has changed a lot. Um, three or four, I think, three, four U.S. presidents, um, and, um, you know, I'm still very happy to be working on it and happy to be bringing it here. We were just saying the other day, I think it's amazing how Daniel can still create, even though he knows his piece like the back of his hand. He's just such a visionary, and we're all so lucky to get to work with him. Daniel is someone who breaks boundaries in the most fantastic way. And for me, my personal taste in the theatre, it's he's he he remains one of my icons, actually. We did this at the Young Vic before, and even this production feels very different to that one. It's the same. It's the same bones. It's just different meat on those bones. Very cool in the new format, sort of. You know, putting it into the windows and seeing how it can work in there in all the different ways. And that, I think, the fear that I had, which was, how will we sustain the intimacy of a three-quarter in the round production? Strangely, I think in this one, it's raw. It's more exposed. You really, there's nowhere to hide. And I think the vision is just thrust right down the middle. It's thrilling to do it in there. And I think it's maybe the best it's ever been. I never did the tour, but um, yeah, the tour was in a proscenium. Um, so this is my first time in it. Every other time, which would be in university, regional, Brooklyn, Broadway, Young Vic has been in the round or in three quarters of the round. So this is a big new venture. So it's exciting. It just feels so good to open it. This is my fifth opening of the show. I've done five productions. It's gonna be the last one for me. Maybe the last one entirely. And I just feel so good. I've never done a proscenium. Uh, it was a new language to learn. Uh, it felt very counterintuitive to kind of like turn out to the audience, but we're doing that and I think the laughs play better. And, it's, yeah, it's a lot of fun. We've had quite a long um, process this time compared to the last time. Um, tech was, and tech and previews were a bit longer. Cause we just wanted to make it as you know as best as it possibly could be, considering it, you know, we had a different, completely different space to work in this time. And by the sound of it, we 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 did we did all right. It's like being proud of your child or proud of your pet if you don't have a child. You know, you think, look at this thing that I've made that I. I'm a part of and it's gone out into the world and people have seen it for what it is and seen it as something exciting and bold and thrilling and fun and vast and to see that embraced it's so freaking great. We've sort of mounted it as though it's a whole new piece there's no part of this that's just recreating what was at the Young Vic or what was on Broadway or what was at St Anne's and I think even like fascinatingly by virtue of putting it in a different space and like, staging it differently, different things come out. People keep th keep saying it's kind of some it's an, an unexpected performance and an unexpected show. And I think it's funny because the the songs are all the same, the scripts all the same. We're just kind of doing it now and doing it in a way that really tries to kind of mine the truth out of it. I think people loving this production is so special to us. I mean, every night. We just tell the story and we love this show. As you can see, we all adore it and adore telling the story. So the fact that people love it is also great. <laughs> yeah, so I finished on the Saturday in Cabaret, started on the Monday rehearsing on uh, uh, for, for Oklahoma. I was on my knees. It's, it's fantastic because the, the beauty of it is that um, a Fräulein Schneider and our Aunt Ella couldn't be more different and that's the joy of it and the luck of it. Uh, absolutely. We're really enjoying it. We're enjoying the challenge of filling a bigger space and interestingly playing a smaller stage but getting a much bigger and uh, we're having a ball basically. It's well good. It's really good. Uh, yeah. Please, I'm trying to talk to this nice gentleman.